I had been at The Guardian for 25 years. I was the investigations editor. We were doing really big stories, WikiLeaks, Iraq. I came across FGM. Why, if we're doing stories about people having their emails hacked, why aren't we covering the fact that 200 million girls and women are having their genitals hacked off? So a small group of us left The Guardian and set up a charity dedicated to ending FGM, determined to do things differently. There's a huge anger in the activist community fighting FGM because there's a sense that the millions, and there is millions that has been spent on FGM, is not reaching them. What we do with the global media campaign is reverse that. And a large proportion of our funds go to the grassroots. That's what makes us different. We searched for activists who were working on FGM, who were often survivors, who were already working in the field, and through the volunteers we could see the people who really had the passion. But what we're doing is we're saying, let's trust that person who's been walking 10 miles a day to go to the remote villages to talk about FGM. They mightn't have a BA, they mightn't have an international development degree, but they are the people who's going to end FGM. Many people respect religious leaders, and I know for sure, if religious leaders can stand up with us, this thing will be a history. It's the activists on the ground who are going to go to their religious leaders and say, this is the reality of FGM, and tell people to stop, because they'll listen to you. So what we do is invite activists, religious leaders and journalists to a five-day media training academy. The media can be revolutionary and the moment it's here, it's now. Activism is aided by tools to drive your story home. Let's use the smartphones, let's use the WhatsApps, let's use the Google documents and create a new, faster way of getting action and we are getting results. In a campaign uh, for 10 years now, TV, radio, I didn't know how to use them. I used to knock doors talking to people and my work was never recognised. But now I can say I'm very confident. I've amplified my work through social media, Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook. I've seen a lot of changes in my community since I've begun engaging the religious leaders. Muslim leaders have delinked the Islamic religion from female genital mutilation, saying the act is sinful. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. We have carried out the first ever survey into how putting religious leaders on the media works to change attitudes, and the results were extraordinary. More than one in four of people who heard those religious leaders said that they were going to stop cutting their children. They changed my perception, and I'm not going to let my daughter undergo FGM. Many people are getting the message clearly. Using the media to end FGM is really, really, really very important. I must say it's been a revolutionary journey of discovery for me as I've learned so much about the media and I've been exposed to the digital world. So far I've appeared in more than 10 TV stations and radio stations in Nigeria reaching 150 million people. There's a whole generation of young women, they've got the skills, they've got the technology, they've got the heart, they just need to be supported. GMC directly funds over 375 activists in eight countries. A week doesn't go without an FGM story being aired. It has made a big difference. It's the activists who organise TV ads like this one in Sierra Leone. It was funded by the Global Media Campaign and got the whole country talking. So far, the message has reached over 870 million people with activists like Ifra Ahmed working not only locally but internationally too. The activists aren't afraid to go for change at the very top. Jaha Dukre in the Gambia, after an 18-month media campaign, finally met with her president, who for 23 years had never mentioned FGM. Three days later, something extraordinary happened. As from today, FGM is banned as from today from the surface of this country. I want Gambia to know how proud I am and how happy I am. This is a revolutionary moment. This is a whole new era of women who can use social media, women who can set up communities and organise themselves. The Global Media Campaign is about supporting them. They are the ones who are going to end this, not us.